this story is about a young girl who discovered that the lady that was standing across the room at the club was indeed a dead person. This is a true story. Talia was a young woman who was working every single night at her local club. She was the co-manager of the club, so she was needed over there most of the nights. At that specific night, Talia was doing her regular routine and everything was okay. She made sure that the employees were at the right position. She made sure that people were having fun. She made sure that everyone was enjoying their time at the local club. Talia then went to the bar and as soon as she was approaching the bar, she started to smell like a foul smell. This smell was disgusting. Talia explained that the smell reminded her of like a expired or dead fish. And also it also reminded her of garbage that hasn't been picked up for years. She said that the smell was so foul that she started breathing with her own mouth and not using her nose. Out of respect for the people, of course. Talia approached the bar and as soon as she approached the bar she noticed that the smell got stronger but it was from a specific area at the bar at the bar you guys know that there's chairs and then behind those chairs there's like a counter where there's people there are bartenders who give you the drink that you are requesting that you are requesting so as she approached she noticed that it was coming in from the middle section of the bar she saw a beautiful young lady this young lady was african of course this lady was african and by the way the story is happening in africa but the country is not is not told she has beautiful long locks she has a nice little red dress and she looks really beautiful talia was concerned no human being should smell that way that is a smell that no human being should smell should smell like so talia went to talk to the bartenders and she said do you guys smell what i'm smelling the bartender said no no i don't smell anything and at the same time as talia was speaking to the bartender there was a older man who approached the lady that was sitting at the bar who who was smelling horrible This man asked that lady for her phone number and while the lady was giving her phone number to the old guy, Talia looked at the bartender and said, approach this lady and bend over and try to smell and see if she smells like anything because she smells horrible. So the bartender shrugged her shoulder and said, okay, if you say so, and they bent over and quickly sniffed the young lady. This lady did not smell like anything to the bartender. The bartender looked at Talia and said, What do you mean she smells like dead fish? She doesn't smell bad. But for Talia, the smell was really concerning and she did not understand how her fellow bartender didn't smell it. She started to think that maybe the lady that she that smells, maybe she's actually on her cycle. If you guys do not know, um, if you're old enough to understand, girls who are on the cycle, if they don't take care of of their their dealing down there properly, if they don't shower properly, it starts to smell really, really bad. Like not, it starts to smell weird, most likely like a bit like fish. So it's really important to take care of yourself down there. So that is what Talia thought. And so Talia went away from the bar and tended to the other customers that were around the club. When Talia noticed that the, the that the lady got up from the bar, she then decided to follow the lady. And she saw that the lady was going to the bathroom. Right before the lady opened the door to the bathroom, she caught her. She said, hey, um, my name is Talia. I am the co-manager of this club. And I saw you sitting there. You look absolutely beautiful and I love how you are. But I'm kind of concerned with how you are smelling. You don't 
respectfully you are not smelling quite nice and is it because you're on your cycle maybe i could help you with that i have no issue with helping you if you're on your cycle the lady turned around and saw talia and she smirked and chuckled she said i am not a human being I am not a human being and I would love for you to leave me alone because I know that I don't smell good and it's definite and it's definitely not because I'm on my cycle it's because of the fact that I am dead Talia jumped and said you're dead and laughed and said I don't believe it you look human to me and the lady rolled her eyes and walked in the bathroom. Talia chuckled and said whatever. I don't think she, I, don't, I I think she's lying and she knows herself that she smells. This is not normal. 20 minutes after, Talia had her break time. So she decided to go outside and lit up a cigarette smoking, looking around the dark road. And out of nowhere, she started to notice a shadow leaving the club and walking down the street. She noticed that the shadow resembled the lady that was sitting at the bar who had a horrible stench. And this shadow turned around to Talia and quickly went towards her and yelled at her, Don't you know you have to mind your own business? I am not human. I came here to have my own little drink i came here to drink and to have some fun before i have to go back you must know that i died on this road right here due to a car crash and i don't see anything wrong with me coming back and getting a small drink because i don't feel good and i'm thirsty that's what the shadow said to talia and the shadow vanished including the smell talia was going crazy she didn't believe what she just saw and encountered and and also what she just heard she went inside looking panicked and the people around her were highly concerned they're like hey what's happening and talia said listen there's a lady at the bar she had a horrible smell and when i confronted her about she was just yapping 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 about the entire story and when she reached the end of the story people were laughing and didn't believe her but she's like it's true look at my my fellow bartenders they know the truth and look at at the guy the guy who who asked the phone number of this lady um he's also there he has the truth he has her number So the guy was like, yeah, I know who you're talking about. I asked for her number. Let me look for her number and see if I can call her. The man actually registered uh, the the lady's number on his phone. But however, when he looked and when he went to look for that number, the number was not there anymore. The people at the bartender, they said, yeah, she was there. But then at some moment, she just vanished. We don't know where she went. Talia, the next day, she left her job and literally moved into another town because this story was too much for her. So this is a story of Talia and her encounter with the lady that she saw at the bar was actually a dead person. I do believe stories like this because there's a lot of stories like this in every single country there's someone who experienced a dead person coming back and doing normal human activities this is quite concerning it's also scary also but hey tell me what you guys think about the story and i'm super excited to read your comments thank you as well for to those who are watching my te- my, my floating teacher story I'm super grateful for you guys. Thank you, my angels. Thank you so much for listening, my angels. And I hope you guys please, please, please like, comment, share, and also subscribe and hit the notification bell if you are expecting more stories like this. I am Ali Kabongo, the host of Beyond the Sky podcast. Bye-bye.